Restyle now needs less memory, which is an optimization paid for by the Blender Development Fund. And we also get a few new modifiers. And those are modifiers for the line style here, freestyle line style. And let me show you the new modifiers based on the thickness, though they also work for color and alpha. And the first one I'd like to show you is the noise modifier, which it's a really interesting effect because the line gets thicker or thinner based on some Perlin noise, which is also looking very organic. And I can also change the period. That means I can make it bigger or smaller. So when I change this up to, let's say 50, we get a really nice effect. And down here, there's the option asymmetric, which will basically mean if it's unchecked, it tries to make the stroke symmetrical, like here, like you can see here. But let's keep this turned on and you can also change the seat. So whenever you change it, you will get new lines. So this is actually a pretty interesting, I guess, if you animate this. And of course, things like amplitude work as well. So you can make it stronger or less strong. And the, uh, another modifier I'd like to show you, which is also new, is called Tangent. And that one will actually change a stroke based on its direction in 2D. So you can see it very clearly here uh, around Suzanne's head. So it starts thick, but the more it goes into the opposite direction, like down again, it becomes thinner. And I can also invert it. So now we have the opposite effect, which is also really interesting. And then there is another new modifier, and that is crease angle. And that one is best shown here on the other object here. So you can see that most parts of this object have has 90 degree angles, and they all have the same size. But for example, that one up here now is thinner, and so is the one down here. So this modifier allows you to change the thickness of a stroke or the color or the alpha value based on the angle between two faces, which I guess is also useful in many cases. And another one I'd like to show you also new is the curvature 3D, but this one will only work when you have turned on face smoothness up here. And let me also increase the, decrease the max curvature so you can see it better. And take a look at the ear versus the head of Susan. So in the head, very thin line because it's very wide, the circle here. But in the for the ear, the curvature is a lot strong and that why, that's why the line is thicker. And of course, you can, as usual, also invert it. And the last effect or modifier I'd like to show you is not working for D3, but for geometry only. And that is called simplification which is basically the same as the decimal modifier, but for freestyle lines. So let me turn up the tolerance here. And now you see that Susa got a really simple in terms of strokes. So just a few strokes here, which makes up for a really, really nice effect. So thank you to all the freestyle developers for their hard work. The line modifiers make this even more awesome.